because this is far more important. We have got the lovely Miss Colby Calais on the phone. Colby, good morning. Good morning. It's so exciting to talk to you. You are coming here for a Montana fair, Saturday, August 11th. Have you been to Montana before? Um, yes, I have. I've played there many times. Excellent. Very, very nice. And uh, do you do a lot of fairs? Is this kind of fair season for you? Is a fair uh, a weird gig? Um, you know, it's both. I mean, I've done it uh, every summer, basically. We've done fairs, and um, we've been doing a bunch on this summer tour. So, yeah, we're used to them. It's, it's cool. We just did one the other night, and um, we all went out and um, played games uh and i actually won this like really cool like monkey with a banana and then the band and i all like played uh um played you know i don't know ping pong and stuff like that in the uh, parking lot uh That's after cool. the show it's just really fun those kind of those kind of shows are really cool yeah kind of a fun vibe there i don't know because some people are like w- once you hit a point in your career sometimes you get like relegated to fair duty like we've had uh mark mcgrath on a few times and last time we had him on uh, i said so where can we see sugar ray and he said well if you smell stinky carnies and funnel cakes we'll be there so oh. he's he's like all all they do now is fairs, I guess. So, oh. but that's he still likes it. He's like, hey, we get to do our thing, and not I get, bad. Yeah, if you're it's f- cool. It's really fun. Yeah, fun audience, especially if you like funnel cake, then you're just set all the time. Every every place you go, you can add on your writer. Like, I want some nasty fair food, like a whole spread. Yeah, I love funnel cake. Oh, so do I. So I've got to ask do you: when you go to a fair like this and go out, do people recognize you? Obviously, they know your music and they know the name Colby Calais. But when the, you're like out walking the midway at a fair, do people stop and recognize you as Colby Calais? And do you get photo ops and autographs and stuff, or do you kind of fly under the radar? Well, it's different. Like if I'm playing a show there, or I just played, like I'm more. It's, you know, I'm bound to be recognized because they just saw me. I'm in that setting. But um, if, but if I'm like at just like a random fair, like and no, like I wasn't performing or anything, I'd maybe, I'd possibly get recognized like a few times, but definitely not not as much as um, when I've just played a show. Yeah, that would that would definitely make sense. So uh, when you're here, you're playing with Gavin DeGraw. Have you are you playing a lot of gigs with Gavin, or is this just one gig specifically with the two of you? No, we're touring together all summer. We've okay. already been on, uh, we were touring for five weeks um, in June together, and then we just, uh, we've been on for our second leg, which is, um, we've been on for a week and a half now, and we have another month to go. That's cool. Are you guys, is this something that just somebody, you know, behind the scenes, management, record label, somebody sets up and puts you two together, or did you guys know each other before the tour and want to tour together? Yeah, we knew each other before. We were actually writing a song together at my house um, back in Southern California, and we were having such a good time. We said we should um, we should plan a, a tour together this summer, and um, we didn't know if it would actually end up working out. But our um, you know our managers made it happen, and it's been so the band and crew and my band and crew like everyone gets along so well. We feel like we're at summer camp, and. Uh, we um, are going to start performing our song together that we uh, we were we actually just finished writing it a couple a couple days ago. Oh, excellent! Very cool. So we'll you'll stop you'll start performing that soon. Like we might see that August 11th at your show here. Possibly, possibly. I hope that we have it down by then. Yeah. If not, I'll come and I can sit with you guys. You know, in the afternoon, and we can run through it, and I can make sure the harmonies are on point, and I can do any any editing or anything we need to make sure it's flawless. That's cool. Yeah, That's cool. Yeah, that can happen. I've got a really good ear, and I've interviewed L.A. Reid before, so really that gives me a lot of credibility in the music biz. <laughs> so I know what's up. It's got to be a cool thing for you to be able to do these shows. I mean, you've sold six million albums and ten million singles and stuff, and you you're kind of like anybody else that wants to break into the music business. I mean, you tried the Idol thing, and that didn't work out for you. You got rejected from American Idol, and I'm sure that kind of you know, hits you as an artist, like, man, maybe I don't have what it takes. I mean, how do you keep just plugging along? And then at what point did you know, like, holy crap, this is working out. I'm, I'm, I'm really doing this. Um, well, actually like, I, like what I did, I got, um, my friends talked me into auditioning for American Idol twice. And, um, and both times they said no, but I was not upset at all because I, I was nervous. I was shy. I didn't want to audition. So I was, I wasn't there. Like, giving my like I did not do a good audition I'll just be very honest so I wasn't like oh my god they're so stupid they packed me up like it wasn't like that at all 
um, it wasn't the right time for me, and um, I needed a lot of growing and um, a little bit more experience before um, I I was going to be taken serious. I mm-hmm. think, um, and um, uh, I think like a year later, my friend had put my songs up on MySpace, and I got like a following and a fan base from that, and that's really what what got me a record deal, like within like a year and wow. a half. Um, yeah. That's got to feel cool. And what's uh, what's life like now? I mean, when you're not out on the road and you're not in the studio, what do you do for fun? Are you watching the Olympics right now? Um, I well, we just started getting into. We've been traveling, so I really haven't been um, around the TV. But like we we turn it we turn it on anywhere we whenever uh, whenever we have a TV around us. Good. But um, I don't know. I'm I go on hikes with my family and friends and dogs and we go to the beach and we go to the lake and go see movies and eat food and go to bars, you know, normal stuff yeah. people do. You're, people are blown away right now hearing that you're like a normal human being. You're just a normal <laughs> woman. That also, I'm just normal. That also <laughs> happens to sell millions of records and entertain tons and tons of people. Uh, the concert is coming up Saturday, August 11th at 7 o'clock at uh, Montana Fair, so everybody needs to get their tickets. It's not just Colby Calais. It's Colby Calais and Gavin DeGraw, so you get to see two hot acts together and maybe even hear a little uh, new song that they wrote together yeah. we might I'm going to pressure we're going to talk to Gavin later this week so I'm going to pressure him too and try to make sure that if it's not debuted before Billings that Billings is the debut of the new song and I'm going to try wow. to get you guys to go on the slingshot too okay that sounds like a really fun night well yeah. I'm sure we'll be singing it and uh, I look forward to seeing you and everyone there um, in a week right yes it's we're getting close we will all be yeah. there Colby Calais thank you so much for calling in this morning and uh, we'll see you in a week at the fair thank you talk uh, to you soon all right bye bye Colby bye. the Big J Show weekday mornings from 6 till 10 on Billings number one hit music station Hot 101.9